So our second, you know, um, so another really useful part of the Java standard library is, uh, is the arrays uh, class. Now, this is a little weird because arrays are built into Java. We've already seen how to create them and how to manipulate them and stuff like that. But you might have noticed even though arrays are objects, they only have this one length property. And there's a whole bunch of like missing features for the array. Like why can't I search it? Why can't I print it nicely? Um, are there ways to create arrays and fill their whole contents? We've been doing this, you know, in the past, let's say I wanted to create an array of a certain type and fill it with a value. I'd have to write a for loop to do that in better ways. So the arrays utility class is not going to win any points for being exciting. Um, but it is super, super useful. Um, and so the arrays utility class has a bunch of static methods. Um, you don't call these on an array. You typically pass an array as one of the arguments, but they do like really useful things. So I have a bunch of, and you'll see here, this is due to Java method overloading and primitive types. So you'll see, for example, the binary search method. I love that you guys understand this stuff. That's so cool, right? I'd love to be able to talk about it with you. So, you know, the binary search method, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 overloads of the binary search method. And, and the reason, I mean, obviously the arguments are a little bit different because um, some of them search the entire array and some of them allow you to give you an, uh, a range. But this is mainly because I have one overload for bytes, one overload for car arrays, one overload for double arrays, one overload for float arrays, one all over. So you get like one per primitive type, right? So that gets me up to eight. And then I have object. Um, and then uh, this one we'll talk about later. Don't, don't worry too much about this. But uh, all of these should look familiar. So I basically have, you know, the eight primitive types plus object. And I have a binary search method that searches all of those. So that's one and then I have another one that searches part of it, right? But again, like, you know, don't write that silly for loop, um, you know, use one of these. And I think actually there's another search method, maybe not, maybe I'm, I'm let's see, Is it like a find or a, let's see, search. So, um, and I think, you know, you know, we have to look at these um, and, and check it out. So one of the things that you have to understand about this though is that the array has to be sorted. And we're going to talk about search and about algorithms like that uh, a little bit later. Um, but all these binary search methods require that you sort the array. Now, hey, turns out that's another thing that you can do with the arrays utility class. Uh, it has all these different uh, sorting methods, right? And again, there's a bunch of these because they operate on all the different primitive types of arrays and things like this. But okay, so I've got my sorts. That's another big thing that's in here. I have a two string method. So this is like super handy when I want to print an array. You know, in the past when we print an array, we've seen this default dot object print method that, that doesn't really look very nice. And so now I have a way to print things. Um, if I want to create an array that's full of a particular value, right? Instead of writing that for loop, I have an array, uh, arrays.fill method. Um, I have ways of comparing two arrays. So this kind of allows us to replace a lot of this boilerplate code that we've learned how to write. And it was really useful to learn how to write it. Um, but now we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, now we can just call, you know, arrays.equals and pass the two arrays that we want to check and it'll, it'll do kind of that dirty work for us. So this is another like super useful uh, part of the Java standard library. Like I said, it's not going to win any points for, you know, being exciting, but it can um, make your code a lot cleaner and, and, and save you uh, some trouble and some sort of like mindless, uh, not particularly interesting code.